So our first speaker is Vimal Bimsam. He's a 20 year plus Sassel veteran who's had the opportunity to fulfill many leadership, technical and project related roles within Sassel. Most of that work from front end design to back end design, engineering design, executing projects has been in his role as a chemical engineer. Let's hear more from him about that job. Hey, my daughter will be so proud. It's like being on TikTok. Um, good morning, everybody. Good morning to our honorable guests, colleagues, academics, and most importantly, all the students out there today. Uh, it's my privilege to talk to you about the day in the life of a chemical engineer. And, and let me start off by saying that when, when I finished school, I actually had very little idea of what chemical engineers do or what chemical engineering was about. But looking back at my career, I'm actually quite grateful that I had the opportunity to get into this field and I made the choice that I did. Uh, and yes, working in R&D, occasionally some things do blow up, as on the slide. So what do chemical engineers actually do? Chemical engineering is really about the conversion of raw materials into products that we use in our everyday lives. It starts off with the invention, the development of new or better processes, defining what steps are involved to make certain product, and then evaluating each of those steps. So it's about understanding the chemistry, what inputs are required, how long will the reaction take, and what type of process conditions do you need, like temperature, pressure, to get this to work? And then very importantly is, how much will it cost to make a certain product or a certain solution? Then it goes on to the engineering design. So you do the engineering work that will specify what the plant needs to look like when it's eventually built. And that includes things like a mass and energy balance, uh, specifying what equipment you need, how big the equipment must be, and how to safely operate and control the process once it's operational. Very importantly, and a lot of what we do in Sasol is ensuring that the processes that we do have run optimally uh, by continuously improving what we have and looking at ways to make them more productive, uh, more cost efficient, and more environmentally sustainable. So in a nutshell, that's really what chemical engineers do on a day-to-day -day basis. The, a lot of people think that chemical engineering is quite a tough course to, to do at university. And I think you know, for students especially who have a liking for mathematics and science, and that could be things like chemistry, physical science, biology, etc., any engineering I think would be relatively easy for them. But in addition to that, elements of computer science programming, bringing in digital into what we do is becoming more important. So having that skill or ability to work with computers and do computer programming is also quite important. Very importantly is to understand economics of what you do as well. So having a, a basic understanding of economics, techno-economics, process economics, uh, to assess the feasibility of projects is also quite important as well. I think in addition to the, the, the hard skills that I mentioned now, just as important are the personal attributes that somebody has to have uh, to be successful. And that is really about being curious, being innovative, analytical, and work as part of a team, being able to bring people together from different professions and work towards a common goal. And I think Marco Frank, who's one of our engineers, principal engineers in Sasol, he summed it up nicely when he said, the chemical engineer is an all-rounder, an spider in the web, who is able to collaborate with and connect people from all 
kinds of different areas like scientific research, pilot plants, operations, business, big data, optimization teams, legal IP, customer supplies, environmental, etc. Therefore, an exciting and never boring job. And I think that sums it up well. So where can chemical engineers work? Um, basically anywhere, I think. Uh, and that's due to the fact that chemical engineers develop a very holistic understanding of processes that can be applied in any, any business context. So as you can see on the graph, a lot of chemical engineers are employed in the oil and petrochemical environment, specialty chemicals and pharmaceuticals, food and consumer goods, utilities, engineering consultancies and manufacturing, finance as well, and management consultancies. And in South Africa specifically, the mining industry is also a significant employer of chemical engineers in South Africa. Uh, and in fact, in Sasol, chemical engineers fulfill key roles in plant operations, projects and engineering, research and technology, business development, marketing and sales strategy, as well as on our group executive committee. You might have heard uh, Simon Boloy, who's our executive vice president for energy operations. He's a chemical engineer. And if I'm not mistaken, our CFO, Andre Rousseau, is also a chemical engineer. So obviously he's got the right credentials for that job. So, however, I think the role of chemical engineers is also changing. And it, it needs to change to fulfill the needs of our ever increasing population. And that includes the needs for clean energy water, sanitation, food security, and a better quality of life for all. And I think that presents a significant challenge and opportunity for chemical engineers. And I feel the role of the chemical engineer in future will really be to lead the energy transition, not just in South Africa, but globally, and make a positive impact on society and the planet for future generations. And again, some of our Sassel engineers have just quoted here the elements that are important to that. So Carla says, for example, that every chemical engineer must rise to the occasion, be it optimizing existing infrastructure, energy savings, water treatment and conservation, developing new technologies, helping guide business where it makes sense to spend money on the correct projects. Sachin said, a process engineer, as a process engineer, your results have real world impacts to improve society in whatever combination of people, planet, profit requires the upliftment, be it the enablement of new cleaner fuels, emissions reduction by uh, innovating with old designs or pursuing a brand new energy mix. And finally, Daniela, I think, summed it up very nicely when she said, chemical engineers are behind the production of everything we use in our daily lives. The food we eat, the plastic bottles we use to store our drinks, the shampoos we use to shower with, and the fuels making our car move, and so much more. From chemicals to energy, a chemical engineer makes it all possible. So in conclusion, a day in the life of a chemical engineer is actually never the same, and it gives one the opportunity to make a difference every day. And for the students out there, I'll leave you with this quote of uh, by Professor Stephen Hawking, who was not a chemical engineer, but he was a physicist who was able to explain the behavior of big objects by understanding the theory of really tiny particles, quantum physics. And he did that using the basic principles of thermodynamics, which is mass and energy conservation. And he said, so remember to look up at the stars and not your feet and try to make sense of what you see and wonder what makes the universe exist. Be curious, and however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up, unleash your imagination and shape the future. Thank you. <laughs>